we have people advocating to create contact visits so you can have the luxury and the compassion of touching your loved ones, so you can hug a loved one, so you can kiss a loved one goodbye. When you desensitize the visits, then you desensitize the individual, and that's another form of mental cruelty, a mental cruel, uh, torture. To have a plate glass between you and the individual, that much space to keep you from touching somebody that you love, somebody that you care about, your, your children, your grandmother, your wife, your sister, your daughters, your family members, your brothers, your sons, your fathers, that's a great burden on a person in jail. Sometimes that's all a person in jail has. And you want to take that from them? For what? You've already strip searched them while they came into the visiting room. You've demoralized their, their, their character when they came up just for a visit. You take their, their, their privacy. You, you make people not even want to visit because of the loops that you got to jump through to come visit. So now you're creating a burden on both sides of the fence. The family member feels bad if he don't go visit him, but he don't want to go through everything he got to go through to go to, to visit him, to just be hurt like that. Kids' mental anguish to see their father locked up, a loved one to see their loved ones locked up, is not a good feeling. It's hard for them to deal with. Um, when I went to jail, I didn't want no visits because I didn't want nobody to be locked up with me. I went to jail, so I went to jail and did my own time. Now, that's one way of dealing with it, but you got to be mentally strong to do that. Other people that can't do that, they need those visits. Those visits get them through the day. If they don't get those visits and they don't have that contact, then their mind gets to wondering. And that wondering mind causes problems. It can cause physical violence on the tear. It can cause self-mutilation. It can cause a lot of problems, and it just depends on which way the wind blow. It, cre it creates tension on the tears. A visit is important. All right. Um, isolation, I talked about isolation. So, um, you said you didn't do visits. Uh, how did you main con maintain contact with the outside? I mean, uh, through letters, through or did you not? And then, uh, how do you think that, that isolation, physical isolation, affected you in the long term? All right, isolation. Uh, we're going to talk about solitary confinement. Solitary confinement is a punishment, it's not self imposed, it's punished by. The system, which again, like I said, if you're innocent till proven guilty, they shouldn't be able to implore extra, extra laws on you, a different set of rules, and why you're in jail. That's uh, denial of due process and equal protections and cruel and unusual punishment. They use solitary confinement like they use Mount Misery in the prison industry. They use it to break you, to break your spirit. 20, 23 hours in jail, in, in the your jail cell, and one. We want to stop that report, so we want to hit it again. Okay. Oh, shit, I'm recording.